Hi everyone, it's Valor from Online Combat Battalion with a remake of a tutorial I did some time ago, which is one of the simplest tutorials I have ever done. I try very hard to keep the tutorials very simple and explain things as best I can so that people don't get confused. But some people uh, continue to be confused and then uh, cast a bit of blame saying that I'm contradicting myself and I don't know what I'm doing. Um, this is a tutorial about having an AI player or NPC a captive that can't move until one of your players comes to rescue him and this is one of the simplest things that you can do so firstly uh, I'm going to place down a playable unit okay so that's my playable unit he's going to be the rescuer then I'm going to place a civilian in some uh, funky clothes uh, yeah that'll do okay so there's my civilian he's going to be the captive we're going to double left click on this guy we're going to give him a variable name of hostage then in his initialization field we're going to type this disable ai and in inverted commas move close inverted commas semicolon then we're going to type this set captive true and semicolon that is all we need to do with that AI player there's nothing that we need to do so those two pieces of code there prevent him from moving and they set him as a captive and he has a variable name of hostage very 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 simple stuff now we're going to grab a trigger and I'll grab the first one. It doesn't matter which one you grab. This does not need to have an area size. We're going to open up the trigger. We don't need to touch anything up here at all. In the condition, we're going to type player, distance, hostage, less than two, semicolon. And in the on activation section, we're going to put in, in uh, square brackets, hostage, join player, semicolon hostage enable AI and inverted commas move semicolon then hostage set captive false semicolon there is nothing else we need to do for this to work so you can place this trigger wherever you want on the map it does not matter where it is so this guy when he gets within two meters of this guy, who is the captive, he will be released from his captivity and he will join the player group. And I'll show you how that works. This tutorial could not be any simpler. And I had someone comment on the original tutorial of this type that I contradicted myself because I put certain things in certain places and it didn't work. The reason it didn't work for that person that watched the tutorial is they didn't follow the instructions or they skipped parts or they become confused. I get it. People come, become confused, particularly when they're new to making missions in armor. But if you follow my tutorials, I try to make them as simple as I possibly can. It will work. So when I run to this guy and I'm within two meters of him, Look at that. He's joined my group and he's no longer a captive. I can tell him to go and run over there and then I decide, no, I want him to come back. So I'll get him to regroup and he'll come and join me. I can order him into a vehicle or an aircraft or do whatever I like with him. Uh, and that is the simplest tutorial that I think I've ever done in Armour 3. And if you can't follow this and you say that it's not working then you're not paying attention or you're not listening or you're not following the instructions i will make this a this is completely vanilla the only extra thing the only extra mod i have is cba community-based add-ons which everyone should be using and eden enhanced uh, but even with out those this should still work so i'm going to make this a downloadable mission for anyone who wants to download it and you can grab this and use it in your own missions if you have any questions if you have any criticisms or comments i have no issue with any of that please though please ensure that you have followed the, tu the tutorial you have followed all of the instructions and you haven't skipped any parts because as i've said before if you do skip parts and it's obvious you've skipped parts 
and it doesn't work, even though the explanation was quite simple, I'm not going to respond to your question because it's obvious you haven't followed the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your understanding. Um, I'm getting, getting a lot of comments recently by people who say this isn't working. You've done this, you've done that, and it's not working. It's because you haven't followed the instructions. Thanks for your support, guys and gals. Um, be good to each other, look after each other, take care, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.